what is up everyone welcome back to another section and in this section six we're going to go into journaling and emotions and really just really dive deep into this so we're going to be stepping away from the charts for a little bit and just getting our program right so when we get back in we are we're right right everything's there our system's working we have all the tools we need so we can go at this with our best effort forward so why journaling is important it clears your head so you don't have to keep telling yourself over and over again like just right now i i was like oh, i'm gonna go film the video and then throughout the day i kept saying oh i need to switch out the trash i need to switch out the trash i need to switch out the trash and then finally i'm just like so i could have a clear head making this video i'm gonna take the trash out so i don't have that thought repeating in my head so Take care of it if you can. That clears your mind. And then also, if you write it all down, you know you could go back and reference that if there's like a list or you need to do some things. Uh, and then that way, you, you know you won't forget because you have that list and it'll let you go back to focusing on what you're trying to do, right? And w by doing that, it quiets your mind and that gives you more power to look at the charts, be disciplined, and actually be aware of what you're doing instead of making those silly mistakes. Again, this is a reference. So whether it's a list of what you need to do or you're just journaling about life or what you want to work on, you have a reference and you could say, well, look at, I didn't like how I felt then because of this. And I said, I don't want to do this anymore. And that will keep you back listening to your past self. And then what you had planned for yourself, it'll get you motivated and back on track to that time when you were really emotional on how you were feeling and what you wanted. And that's like your true inside voice is when you're able to get that out and then reference it. And then you still feel like it, it punches you and just like, yeah, let's go. Let's go back to work. Right. So journaling is super important and you'll start to pick up on patterns through this and you will get your weaknesses. So let's dive in to this week. Oh, one last slide before we go into this week's topic. Um, we're going to go through these four types of journaling throughout the next coming week. So reflection, goal dreaming, setup, and trade journaling. And you can see I put pen and paper, pen and paper, because it works best when you're able to just go somewhere away from all the technology. It's just you, a pen, pencil, and some paper and you just that's it that that's your setup it lets you just focus and get into it and then by writing and your hand moving it it really just connects to your body and your mind much easier than just typing out because you're just you know you're just pressing letters right but each letter you write has a flow in your hand and each word and you're moving and your your body's getting into what you're journaling is a much better connection and i find at least for me, and I know a lot of people say the same thing, is it's a much better process than doing digital reflection and goal dream, uh, dreaming type writing. All right, now let's get into week 16's topic, and that is reflection journaling for traders. So again, you're going to want to use pen and paper, and what we're going to be doing in this journaling exercise is reflecting on life, on our trades, if we are trading, or just what type of setups maybe you want to see in the markets and reflect on your trading account. And we're going to go into these a little more later in the weeks because there's more steps on these topics. So I wanted to kind of go into detail on their own week. So, so let's go into what you're going to be doing for this week. And you're going to be focusing on reflecting on your life right now. And... Set aside at least 10 minutes. If you go longer, you know, don't stop. Like there's no hard limit, but give yourself some time to sit with it and not rush through. Because if you only spend like two minutes, you're not going to get everything out, what you really want. Um, you need some time to sit with it and then let your mind think and then get back to writing and reread it and just really sit with it and be like, is this, is this, is this life, right? So, Sit down, get in a quiet place, pen, paper. Maybe you want some 
minimal music with no lyrics, just some beats or whatever. Um, ocean waves crashing. I, I love those type of sounds. Just listening to the beach um, while I'm working on all that stuff or if I'm like, just wherever, right? Like I, I like the ambient city nature sounds to be in the background and really connect me to where I can't be because I'm on my computer, right? But if I bring a pen and paper outside, I got a lot of trees here with some birds. That's perfect for me. I don't even need music or anything. I'll, I'll listen to that, right? And you're gonna, So once you get into your place, find a starting point. And this could be five years ago. It could be last week, whatever. Whenever you originally had that idea of becoming a trader or you wanted to invest money or you want basically you wanted to use money to make more money right find when you were kind of first had that theme going on and that thought in your brain that like hey i want to do this this is what i see is people doing this is what i want to get to right like whatever it is for you and whatever time frame that was start there and you're going to reflect on life till today and you're going to write some good things you did to get like get better from that point when you originally had that idea, right? So for me, I wanted to invest in stocks. That was my first thought about using money to make money. So for there for me that was probably 13, 14 years ago. So that's when I started with just stocks. Um, really taking investing serious, whether it's in my long-term 401k account or just buying stocks myself in my own separate account at that time, right? So from there, I learned about the markets, price action. I did a lot of good things. I, I And then I thought about what I did learn, but what was the best things that I learned that I need to make sure I'm doing today, right? So I, I go through that whole timeline, writing, this is what I learned, I really like using this. It showed to be very powerful. I need to start sticking to these type of rules or when I learned about times in the markets and just really reflect on everything to today of what from that first goal, your first idea to today. So you could see your growth from that start to today and really reflect like, hey, I'm actually putting in work. I'm a lot better than what I was at that time, right? And then you're also going to start picking up, maybe you weren't doing as much as you were hoping to, right? Like you hoped within that year or two years, you were, should have been here by now. And then you reflect and you're like, well, you know, there's a lot of things I could have done. I could have studied more, back test more. Um, I could have saved more money for my, my account, um, whatever it is, right? And that's what you're going to do in this, this uh, life reflection journaling assignment for this week. And um, you don't have to do it in one setting. You could spend all week on it, keep coming back to it, adding to it, rereading it, just so you you start to like you know get your story and what you want to do in your head and get yourself in line, and that'll get you motivated and focused more. So do that this week and really sit with it, like I said. And then next week we'll go into uh, your future. So we'll we'll go from today and then we'll we'll journal forward about what you're going to do so look forward to that next week we'll go into depth and again i'll walk you through that process so spend time journaling if you are new here and you happen to just watch this whole video don't forget to subscribe click that thumbs up but also make sure you're going through all the weeks in order because we do there's a plan in place for this this mentorship right so hope you all have a good one i'll see you in the next video Peace.